All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I haven't done a video like this in a while. It's kind of just like a sit down and ramble type of video, but we're gonna be talking today about the new layoff changes. Well, not really about the layoff changes because everybody knows about it already, all right? I'm just realistically going to give my take on the situation and that'll be the video. So I'm pretty sure by now, everyone in their mom who plays Destiny has already heard about the changes that have been going on in the background of Bungie. You know, a bunch of layoffs to the people who like fucking made the game. And I wasn't going to say anything yesterday, like as I was seeing the news, simply because I was waiting for Bungie to dispel the rumors. I was waiting for Bungie to actually make a comment, a quote, something. I mean, so many people were getting fired yesterday. I thought that they wouldn't have any staff left. I'm pretty sure the janitor is the only one, guys. Jokes aside, it is pretty sad to see a lot of people, especially the people that have been here since like Halo and destiny one actually working on the game and trying to make it better have to leave like this right and apparently according to paul tassi he just posted this a couple of minutes ago apparently the layoff decisions came directly from bungie management and not sony like a lot of people were thinking this really wasn't about sony replacing bungie employees with their own people and while many employee benefits that don't include health insurance only lasted until the end of the month that was only if they were let go so laying off people on the 30th means that they have an additional day of coverage on top of that many people who worked at the company had unvested shares as a result of the purchase from Sony. So what Bungie essentially did was fire those people so the shares automatically reverted back to Bungie. Essentially because the shares were only good if they stayed with the company. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, like, if this is really true, which I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, because knowing Bungie and seeing how they've been acting for the past couple of seasons with the game itself, it really wouldn't surprise me. But imagine working and giving your entire professional career, right, for some people, to a gaming developing giant like Bungie. And thinking you're all good developing the game, you know, helping out, trying to do things where you can, growing to see a community like Destiny form over the years, working on very important things for campaigns such as the music, and then getting fired just like that just for your share in the company that you rightfully got as a result of the Sony purchase. I don't understand it. I like, I truly do not understand it. Why the fuck is money such an issue? We always say things like billion dollar company, like dead ass, bro. They have three sources of revenue that they are pulling from, bro. Like, if I can explain a little bit from the way I see it. Firstly, they have all the money that they're getting from us through silver and the Eververse store, right? And the obvious fucking cash grab that is the holiday events, right? The Christmas, Halloween, and Solstice event. Scams, all of them. Not to mention all of the lawsuits that they've gone over through the years. And not to mention the recent ones that they've had. Where they've gotten probably about $2 million just from that alone. They've sued the companies that cheat in their game for a lot. And then finally, they have all the money that they got from the Sony purchase. This is how I see it, right? If you have all of this money, right? And the money that you continually get from us as players every single year anytime somebody wants to buy a dlc or a dungeon anytime somebody wants to buy something from the eververse store i don't understand why it seems like they're so desperate for money that they're out here firing essential employees that literally help make the game i don't, like i don't get it bro like they are seriously cutting off the people that made them and it's gross <laughs> like that's gross dude i'm pretty sure it has to do with like the higher ups at bungie the ones that we don't see the ones that we don't know the names and faces of but here i am as a customer a paying customer thinking that it's all good in the background right bungie has their money issues sometimes for some reason which you know i did have a problem with and i still do however i kind of let it go right because everything seemingly was going good but then all this stuff happens yesterday and i'm just like bro what the fuck and then to put the cherry on the milkshake bro the final shape gets delayed until june june like like june j-u-n-e june like you gotta be kidding me bro you you have to be kidding me that is very disappointing to hear. Like, and that's if it's true. I've heard from other people that, you know, Bungie's official sources don't really say that it's going to come out in June. It still says it's going to launch on its original date which is another reason why I was trying to wait until I made this video in the first place. But Bungie didn't want to say anything. They really didn't want to say anything to us. I understand that, you know, us as the public, we don't really need to know what's going on in the background all the time. We don't need that level of transparency. But at this point, bro, we're worried about the stuff that we paid for. What's going on, bro? Like first you vault half the game that we paid for. And then as paying customers, we continue to pay throughout the years, leading up to this final DLC that we expect to have come out on its original release date and then you end up doing some bullshit like this and it results in the final shape being pushed way further back than we ever thought 
Hell, man, if this is true, that shit better win game of the year, bro. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That shit better compete, bro. Otherwise, it was a waste of $300 for those who bought the collector's edition. And I know what I said in the last video about the Solstice event being a scam, and the only way that they're going to respond is if you stop purchasing stuff from the Eververse store, and the only way to make them listen is with your wallet, right? And I do still agree with that sentiment. It's just that I don't know if it'll work here. Like, if we pull back our Final Shape pre-orders and we start refunding stuff, I don't know if that'll work. Maybe Maybe it'll get some sort of message across, but what would that even result in? On top of that, right, let's just go over a quick hypothetical. If the final shape does end up coming out in June, of course, I want that game to be the, the best DLC that has ever been in the history of the world, right? It better be. It has to be. It literally does. But not only that, what are we getting in between? that time, right? I went over an idea with Redrix yesterday, so I'm going to bring up the same points that I said to him over here. It would be nice if we got some old raids back that are still in the game or in the DCV during that time, right? Things like the OG Leviathan, Scourge of the Past, and some other raid that the community should vote on, and the weapons and armor probably need to be reprised. Maybe the weapons need to be crafted, things like that, right? New exotics probably, even an exotic mission or two, right? Bring back Zero Hour, bring back Whisper of the Worm, or just use your fucking millions of dollars that you just got and make us some more missions. I know a lot of people were saying that like this might be it for Bungie or this might be like the final DLC for Bungie, the final shape, right? And I don't know, man, like I might agree with you. I might, I might have to agree with you, bro. I don't want Bungie or I don't want Destiny, right? Forget Bungie. I don't want Destiny to be some sort of game that fades into the distance, right? I don't want to be in the party of another game sitting there with my friends that I used to play Destiny with and be like, Remember Strikes, bro? Remember Raids? Oh, man. You remember Midnight Coop, bro? Oh, what about Fatebringer, dude? Remember the titles? I don't want to be like that, dude. Like, I, I just want to keep playing Destiny, man. That would be fucking sad if that happened, though, right? Like, imagine wasting... <laughs> imagine wasting thousands of hours grinding right for years just to end up at a point where you're just like man remember this remember that i mean that's pretty much d1 vets but like you get what i'm saying they'd pretty much have to go through that all over again in this hypothetical and i don't want that it's like like seriously i don't but at this point bro like they, they keep going like this man I, I think it's gonna be a reality anyways guys that's gonna be it for me today i hope you did enjoy if you did hit that like button and if you want more content similar to this hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one sub up stay safe and peace